ASP.NET. So for you required one database. So I have to add one database. Wait until this database load. Now here we have to create one table. Now here I am going to take two fields. One is name and one is for image. Here we are going to store image path. Now I am going to save this table. Name is table 1. Now in this table we have to enter entries. Now for storing image, we have to create here one folder. We have to store images in this folder. So first of all I have to copy such images. From pictures. I am going to take these four pictures. Copy and I have to paste over here. Now I rename this image so I can remember easily. to enter here so here we have to give path like this and here we have to write name We are storing the path of images in this field. Now we have to take here data list for displaying the record from toolbox. From toolbox, from this data, we have to take data list. source you can see here we are getting here data list so here we have to take table TITD can see here here I am taking just time yes as it is it is basically from HTML and I give height and width now here we have to pass the field name 
to pass the field name we have to write like this less than percentage percentage greater than and in between here we have to pass our field name our field name is image one and now we have to read another td to display name SPS code is ready. Now we have to do code in C sharp. So right click here and go on view code. We have to do database connectivity over here. here we have to pass database path so right click on database go on property select this data source copy and paste here now we have to write coding in page load event Now we have to check our data uh, data list name. Data list name is data list one. We are not getting here, so we are going to change the name. here is one mistake you have to over this data list outside of this item template now I am going to run this program it take such time to load you can see here we are getting images from database thank you